Hey guys, welcome to this YouTube video. My name is Rindala Daisy. I'm an artist and animator and today I'm going to show you my process of this Critical Role watercolor painting. If you want to check out my other art, you can go to my website and my Twitter account where I have a bunch of animations and stuff on there. So yeah, I, I do commissions so you can check that out at my website. So for this picture, I knew for this for this month, I wanted to do a watercolor picture as a video, and I knew I wanted to do something to do with D&D, and I decided that I wanted to do a Critical Role painting of something, the characters from Critical Role. And for some reason, I was having a really hard time trying to figure out what characters I wanted to do. I had, like, I had so many ideas that I felt like they were all bogging me down, and I was like, I knew I had to get the painting started, but I was basically procrastinating because I had too many ideas, and I wanted to do all of them but also I didn't know exactly how to do all of them you know what I mean so I just started writing ideas down and I um I knew I I think I definitely wanted to do a picture of not I definitely want to do some kind of picture with Caleb maybe Jester and there were just so many ideas like scenes that I had and I I knew I wanted to do some kind of illustration and not just like a character portrait so I wrote down all these different ideas and I I did some thumbnails and eventually I decided that I wanted to do this part where it was while it was the second campaign of Critical Role, the very first few episodes where they're still in Trostenwald. Caleb and Not go shopping, Caleb's going book shopping and Not grabs this <laughs> platinum flask and that's kind of become a little bit iconic. <laughs> I just love that part so much because I, I got to know the characters a lot better and I got to understand like you know what they do in certain situations and I just like their interactions together and so I think once I stopped overthinking everything and I was I just decided to go with the picture it was an idea for a picture it was a lot easier I think one thing that was holding me back was you know kind of like fear of failure I guess like if I go with this one idea I have to, you know, see it through. And if the idea doesn't work out, then I don't have time to go back and redo it. So that's kind of what was going into it. And then also I had trouble because, you know, as part of doing Critical Role fan art, a really helpful thing is to look up, you know, other fan art to see what other people have done. But also it's hard to not get bogged down and say, I don't know how to do a piece of art that's different from art that I've seen everywhere else. And so you're like, how do you even do something different from all of these different pieces of art that you're seeing? And so I had to just get out of that mindset and just think, okay, what am I wanting to paint right now? What what do the characters say to me? What <laughs> what makes me happy, you know, whenever I whenever I think of painting them? And I had to stop worrying about failure or about copying somebody else or about not doing it too much like the characters. Once I got past that, it was a lot easier. I wouldn't say it was exactly smooth sailing, but it was close. So so once I got into actually painting it. It was, I really, really love watercolor painting. It's just, it just makes me happy to do. And then whenever I get to paint like my favorite characters on top of that, just like, that's just like the coolest thing in the world for me, like eating ice cream or something. So this was a lot of fun to do, but also, you know, along with painting and having fun also comes, you know, stressful moments sometimes. And I think what was interesting for me in this picture, I think it's interesting my choice of color scheme. The thing with it is, is, you know, Know, not has green skin but I usually in my paintings I try to stay away from green as much as I can because for some reason in most of my paintings I just don't like the way green looks I don't know what <laughs> what that is why why that is but that's just something that I've done and then I'm, you know, painting this and I'm just doing these thumbnails, you know, I'm thinking, I really like the way that red and green look together, so I was combining those and I'm like, this is super weird because in any other painting, I I would like think this gross, but in this painting, I really like the way it looked. It looked natural to me and I don't really know why that is, <laughs> but it was an interesting experiment and I think I definitely need to experiment with color more. Also, I think another thing that was difficult for me with this is recently, whenever I've been doing commissions and stuff, I've been really trying focus you know I've been doing digital commissions so I've been trying to focus a lot on going past you know the blocking the character out phase to actually detailing it and going the extra step to to render everything but I felt like in this painting it was really hard to know where to stop because I was afraid that if I just kept on going and going it would break the picture because with watercolor honestly because I don't have gouache to 
thicken the paint out. There's only so much you can do with it before you're like eating it and it's already dead. <laughs> so I really tried to be careful that I wasn't, I wasn't beating the life out of it by just adding on more colors and textures and stuff. So I knew generally what I had in my head, but I had to be careful that I didn't take it too far and I, I didn't beat all the life out of it because if I kept on going and going with this painting, I probably would have made it so busy that, that it kind of lost its life. And that's the thing too, because for me, it's kind of hard to tell when I've reached that point. I don't even know if I already have reached that point. I guess it's up to personal preference, but I've felt like it was really hard for me to know when to stop. But I think that in the end, I captured what I wanted to. I, I told the story where he is, they're walking back to their inn after they were shopping and stealing and he's giving her a piggyback ride. So I felt like I captured the story and I didn't need to go beyond that because if I did, there's not a purpose. I think a good thing to remember whenever you're painting is if you get to a certain point whenever you're painting where you feel like you you don't have a purpose in continuing to paint it anymore you're just changing stuff I think that's a good signal that maybe you should stop and think about what you're painting I feel like also that's why I don't like to listen to music sometimes whenever I'm painting because I'll just get into this phase where I'm just changing stuff or moving things around because it doesn't look right but I'm not actually moving toward a goal because I'm I'm distracted by thinking about other things so yeah that's just something I've noticed I really like the way the pose turned out I tried out several things but again I was afraid of <laughs> making it look boring I don't know that's you know fear was holding me back but then I just I, I picked a pose and, and, I, and I decided that this is what I wanted to do and I went with it and yeah these these characters are so fun I love painting them so much this is a fun painting so if you want to see more art from me you can subscribe you can subscribe to this YouTube channel and you can check out my Twitter and my website where you can also order commissions if you want be sure to comment your thought comment your thoughts on this you know what if you remember this part about Curve World this is like really early in the beginning of it so <laughs> I basically have just started listening to the second season of, season of Critical Role like a month ago so don't give me any spoilers but yeah be sure to comment your thoughts give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more see you in the next video bye